So the next thing that you want to think about is engaging the abdominal muscles. So even though we are on the front of the body, you still want them to play a role in what's happening. The engagement of the core is going to help to protect your low back. So you can think of times when you're just like on the floor and you're just hanging out and you're not thinking about it. You know, you're you're just letting the belly sink down and you're kind of going into the arch of the low back. You don't want that to happen when we are going through these exercises down here. Rashida A. Marshall. Welcome or welcome back. I hope that y'all are doing great. I wanted to share just a quick video discussing extension exercises that are wonderful for strengthening the upper and mid back and getting those muscles to be more active and engaged in our day-to-day -day routine. Um, it's very easy for those muscles to be out of the game and not working since many of us tend to be seated, rounded forward, looking down at our phones, at our computers, carrying things, maybe just going, you know, a long period of time without being physically active and you haven't really been working that part of the body and then a mix of other things. So we're going to just go through some moves that you can do down on the mat that are more beginner level and then different ways that you can add some variation and a little more challenge to them as you continue practicing and progressing. These are also really good for those who are in their early prenatal chapter and then those who are postpartum. This is an area of the body that tends to lose that engagement. It becomes more rounded because of changes in the body. So if you happen to be a woman who is in her early prenatal phase and you're still okay with laying on the front of the body and it's still you know good to go, you could definitely join in. And if you are postpartum and you have that clearance to start adding some fitness back into your regimen, these are some good ones to do so you can start to condition the body and um, or start to recondition the body I should say and get those muscles working and get them strong or keep them strong so let's go ahead and we're gonna go down onto the front of the body here we are laying on the belly and we're gonna do a variation first where the forearms are down and the palms are pressing into the mat so some things that you want to think about even before you start the exercise. First thing is you want to feel like you're drawing those shoulders down and away from the ear. So notice if you're like already kind of scrunching the shoulders up, just bring them down and that'll get you in a good starting position. So the next thing that you want to think about is engaging the abdominal muscles. So even though we are on the front of the body, you still want them to play a role in what's happening. The engagement of the core is going to help to protect your low back. So you can think of times when you're just like on the floor and you're just hanging out and you're not thinking about it. You know, you're you're just letting the belly sink down and you're kind of going into the arch of the low back. You don't want that to happen when we are going through these exercises down here. So while you're laying flat, draw the abdominals in and up, still keep them active and a part of what's happening. And then also with your legs, you want to feel like you're reaching the legs long and you are lengthening through the toes. You're pulling the sits bones together. You're engaging the glutes and that's going to help to keep you um, active and firmly rooted down on the mat in lower body as well. So to get us started, we have the forearms down, palms pressing down and the forehead is down on the mat. So you're going to take your inhale and you're going to press up, you're lifting, and you want to feel the upper back lifting you away from the mat. So whatever distance this is for you is totally dependent on where you are right now. So it might not be really big or it might be a larger lift. So feel where that is, but make sure it's not the low back taking over. And then as you lower, exhale and feel like you're lengthening through the top of the head as you release. And then again, as we go up, feel upper and mid back. And then exhale and lower. Now from here, the next way that you can take it up a notch is to bring the hands to stack underneath the forehead and then you're resting the head down. So with this one, imagine that your hands are floating the head off the mat. So you're gonna take that inhale, the hands are floating up, the head is staying connected to the back of the hands and then exhale, lengthen, and go down. Again, for two, as you go up, lift. So shoulders are still drawing down and away from the ears. You can even feel like you're pulling those shoulder blades together. That's another great cue that can be helpful. And then release. 
One more, going into that lift, elbows are wide. Upper back is lifting you, core still engaged. And then release. All right. Now, from here, you're going to take the hands to rest by the side of the body. Now, with this one, we're going to add the legs. You can also add the legs to the first two variations, but um, we're just going to mix it in here on this third one. So, you're finding that lift again. As you inhale, lifting the head, shoulders draw down, the arms are floating off the mat. And then again, maybe you're floating the legs up off the mat as well. So, you're getting a bigger lift. And then exhale, lengthen and lower. Again, for two, as we come up, shoulders draw down, draw the shoulder blades together, feel yourself opening at the front of the body, and lengthen and lower. One more. And we lift. And release. Good. And then from here, if you want to continue adding a little more of a challenge, you can do the variation where your arms are extended out. So I'm sure many of us have seen this type of extension as well, where you're going to float the arms up and let's continue to add the legs if it feels okay, but they can always stay down. So you find that inhale again, and now the arms and legs float up. You're reaching, and then as you lower, feel like you're finding length through the fingers and length through the toes. And then again, inhale, coming up, and lower down. Last one, finding that lift, and release. And then from here, let's bring the palms by the rib cage, press back onto the heels in your child's pose, we stretch. And then we're coming up. And then we are done with our extensions. So just a few ways that you can mix in um, different extension exercises into your routine, depending on your level. Again, this is always really good to strengthen those muscles. If you saw my video where I talked about posture, I discussed how you wanna keep the front of the body open, working those upper back muscles, keeping the shoulders drawn down. And the more you incorporate exercises and movements that are going to strengthen those muscles, it'll feel more second nature for you and something that you'll be able to catch when you find that you're slouched or rounded forward. So I would definitely say to include some of those or variations of them. And then you can add different things such as weights or different props or resistance band that can help to challenge the move a little differently and work the muscles a little bit more. So hopefully that was helpful. My dog has joined us <laughs> for a moment. Hopefully that was helpful and I can't wait to share some more tips with you all. So until then, you have a good one. Bye. Thank you.